Yes, how are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, I'm just going to give a bit of an update on where we are with Project Sprout. So the videos tend to vary. I do stuff which is fast time lapse. I do some detailed stuff and I try to mix it up a bit. Uh, it generally goes at the pace I'm working. So I apologise. I can't do everything in detail. Otherwise, I'd never get anything done. It's certainly a lot slower filming stuff. Uh, and the music, it's always a contentious subject. If I don't put music on the videos, people say they like music. When I do put music on, um, it's not the right type of music. So I try and mix it up with a bit of modern stuff. It all has to be copyright free, obviously. Uh, and then I try to do sort of background music. So I apologise. It's not to everyone's tastes, but... Um, yeah, turn the volume down if you don't mind the music. That's that's my way of solving the problem anyway. So anyway, I thought I'd just cover off some things on Sprout. Uh, firstly, a quick shout out though, because I've really been enjoying this guy's videos lately. Um, Mark Simpson, Simpsons Classics. Drop over, check out his channel. I'll stick a link down the bottom, but he gets involved in loads of different projects. Uh, I love his Clubman project he's doing at the moment because it's a Clubman project on a budget. Uh, and I really like that because it's easy just to throw a load of money at stuff. Um, but to do it on a budget really takes some skill. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how that turns out because, yeah, there's doing it on a budget without budging it as well. So you want to do a good job, but you want to do it for a sensible price. And looking at it, I think that's what Mark's going to do. So, um, yeah, go out and check him out. So where are we with Sprout? Uh, a few people asking recently. I kind of set a deadline at the start. Uh, and I decided to call it Sprout because Sprout's come at Christmas and it's green uh, and the kids like the name. There's no real reason. Uh, I kind of stepped back a little bit and I said, right, it'll be ready for paint at Christmas. So everything will be done. It'll be literally just ready to sort of paint the car. And then, yeah, uh, obviously, you know, get it MOT'd then. <clears throat> um, I think we're still on target for that. So I think come Christmas... Front end will be on, all the body will be prepped, and it will be ready for paint. I've um, got some, a few little more mechanical bits to do. They will hold me back a little bit, because I, obviously I don't want to stick the windows in, headlining, that sort of thing, until it's painted. Um, so, yeah, I think we're still on track for that. However, uh, the plan was, um, I spoke to Mark, so Mark will be spraying the ERA, um at some point and the plan was i think to do that over christmas so he'll set up um a spray booth ready to to spray the era and i just thought while it's set up i could use it at the same time and get sprout done so that's the plan but i don't think that's going to happen Dan working on the era today it's come back from sandblasting and there is a lot of work that needs doing on it uh i just don't think there's enough weekends uh, and enough time to get the ERA to the point where it's ready for paint. So long and short of it, Sprout will go for paint probably the same time as we do the ERA. Uh, either that or I move everything out of my workshop and I'll get it ready to paint as well. But it's a bit of a nightmare in here because one, there's no heating at all. So in the winter, just getting the place warm enough to paint is a bit of a nightmare. Um, so it kind of seemed to make sense while Mark was setting his up to do it down there at the same time. But we'll see how it goes with that anyway. Um, <clears throat> so we're nearly there with Sprout, nearly there ready to put the front end back on. Um, I'm kind of, I think I called this phase two. Phase one was the structural work, phase two is the front end. Uh, and we're nearly at the point where the front end's ready to go back on and the messy work finished. Um, by messy work, I mean sort of cutting, grinding, welding, that sort of thing. Um, we're nearly there now. Um, I just need to do prepare the um, windscreen aperture for the scuttle to go back on. There's a bit of repair work I've got to do here. Um, so, <clears throat> donated from the ERA project. 
I have um, kind of the uh, inner top rail. This came off the ERA. This has been repaired on the ERA in the past and it's been a bit bodged up and that sort of thing. So I asked Mark if I could take that really just to make myself a profile uh, of this lip inside the car because it's pretty rusty on Sprout. Uh, on the ERA, this being cut out, it's having, actually having a whole complete bulkhead on the ERA and an inner top rail as well. Uh, Sprout, uh, again, it's just working to budgets. Um, I think this bit inside is repairable. So if on Sprout it's repairable, it's going to get repaired. If it's beyond repair, I ain't going to bodge anything and it'll be done, bumped, done properly. So we'll clean that up and we'll see what it's like. Um, yeah, and then next steps really. So once that's done, uh, next thing really is the inner wings. So obviously where I've welded these repair patches in on the end here, it's burnt the paint inside. So <clears throat> again, people asking, are you going to take the engine out? Um, the plan is not to, the plan is to clean the engine up in situ, but I might just strip everything down on this side. I've started already taking the ECU and that out, strip everything back down on that side. That'll give me enough space to clean up the inner wings and get the inner wings painted. I'll probably go as far as replacing this sound installation as well, just because it is a right pain to do it with everything in the car. With, with the scuttle panel out and everything else out, that's gonna be pretty easy to do and uh, they're 25 quid um, so not particularly expensive but they just make the engine bay look a lot fresher with new sound insulation on there so spray the inner wings uh, and then it'll be clean up the engine paint the engine fit the sound insulation and before the front end goes on the plan is to spray these inner wings as well body color so to do to, to get that bit done as well so it'll all look nice when you look underneath the arches um what else what else what else uh i think that's probably it for the moment um i'm gonna have to take all the coolant out again radiator off alternator off coil pack off uh everything as much as i can get off as possible at the moment though um i'm not going to start that now because i need to leave it mobile so next weekend um uh, say so next weekend depends when this video goes out probably go out wednesday so coming saturday there's a guy coming in to do all my electrics in the garage. When I say all my electrics, obviously the electrics work fine, but I need the circuit breakers upgraded so I can run the spot welder, so I can just do the spot welder along the front, finish off the seals. He's coming to fit some more lights over this side, uh, some switches and some more plugs here, and to upgrade my circuit board, uh, fuse box, consumer box, whatever you want to call it, in the house for the welder. So that's going on this coming Saturday. Could be the Saturday gone, depending when I upload the video. Uh, so that's being done. So I need to leave it mobile because I'll get that mini out. I'll probably get the other two minis out as well. So he's got room to work in the garage. Um, so that's where we are. Um, I had a lot of waffling this week, but really, like I say, more of a, just an update. Let me get it set up. I'll get this uh, scuttle lip cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to measure it all first because I want to know the exact height of the windscreen aperture. So it's... The windscreen fits back in afterwards because that'd be a bit of a disaster if it didn't so bear with me uh, let's get things set up let's get the time lapse on and let's get this final sort of messy bit done and we can get on with sticking the front end on then
Right, just to prove things don't always go to plan. So I've probably spent about four hours repairing this top dash rail now. Uh, it started off going okay. So uh, there's a patch in here, uh, patch there, patch there. And what happened is, as I started to clean it off more, the patches just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and I've ended up doing a massive bit down here. Uh, really struggled to do it. The weld's pretty crap just because it's quite difficult to weld down. It's difficult to get the right fold on this lip here. Um, I repaired that center section of the bulkhead. Look at that, it's gone rusty. Just sitting in here doing nothing. So it's dry in this garage, but that's just from the damp air. Um, so yeah, always try and remember to put some primer on it or something like that, which I didn't do there. Could have put some cure rust on it maybe. Um, but anyway, long and the short of it is I've done loads of repairs on this little bit and I'm not happy with it. It's not a great repair. It doesn't look fantastic. Uh, it's not up to my personal standards. Uh, and I was doing it really, one, I guess, to save a bit of time because I didn't have a top dash rail. And two, uh, I didn't look. I just assumed this da top dash rail would be expensive. Um... Uh, after faffing around with this, I went and had a look and found out they were £45 plus VAT for something like that for a heritage one. And I did kick myself a bit and I thought, why didn't I just get a dash rail? And then I looked on Mini Sport and they've got a sale on at the moment and it's 35 quid. So why did I faff around trying to repair it? So two steps forwards in this case and two steps backwards because now I'm going to cut this dash rail out. <laughs> Uh, unpick luckily it's only just tacked on here because this will be spot welded through uh, uh, unpick it I'm gonna get this dash rail out let's put a new one in there it's just I'm not happy with that right thankfully that didn't take long but that's still probably four hours of work wasted so it's much easier to see now now I've got the dash rail out um, like I started at this end um, it's quite a neat tidy repair but as it went along, I just kept finding more and more and more. And so by the time I got to the Astra end, I had to remake this whole piece here. So almost half of the car. Um, and it's just the welding's crap on it. And I'm just, you know, I'd, I wouldn't have minded if there was a bit here, bit in the middle, bit on the end. But that's just too much for me. Uh, so I feel better that that's going in the scrap now. And now we are just back to one one edge now, which is the bulkhead. Obviously, the top dash rail will go on the other side. The scuttle panel goes on this side. We've cleaned it up, so we've got good metal the whole way along, inside and out. This is where I did do a repair section, so that's staying. I'm certainly not putting a bulkhead in it. Um, but for an MPI, that isn't that bad, actually, because these do rot away really badly. So that's um, pretty solid. It was just that bit in the middle. Uh, and then inside, um, you can see where that's been repaired there. Uh, but the rest of it is looking pretty good. So I'm pleased with that. Um, thanks, sir. I've only lost some time, haven't I? You know, I just... Sometimes we'll make uh, judgment errors and we get things wrong. Um, and I made an error of judgment there. I thought I could repair it. And I could repair it. You know, I could, I could have gone with that. But it is just... It's crap, isn't it? It's, uh, that'll just rot through again in time. So we're doing this properly. So let's put a new top dash rail on it. We've got a brand new scuttle panel over there to go on it. So yeah, that's it for this week. Um, sorry, not a great, in fact, in this video, no progress, I think. <laughs> I suppose I've got the top dash rail out. So a little bit of progress, but um, yeah, wasted a bit of time there, but that's the way it goes um we'll keep cracking on thanks for tuning in this week guys and girls thank you very much for watching i hope you'll uh have an enjoyable rest of the day rest of the week and a new video up soon